Ooh, that's big. So here is the newly launched Mi TV 4X Pro 55 inches 2020. Now it comes with the Android 9 out of the box. This is a 4K Android TV. It also has official Netflix, Amazon Prime, Chromecast, the newly launched data saver mode, the new patch wall and the Play Store. And all this is priced at just 34,999. Already extremely lucrative. So in this video, let's unbox it. Let's see how it looks. Let's see how it performs. But before that, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. This is your friend Texing. Let's get started. On the front of the box, you can see Mi TV 4X, 4K Ultra HD Android. It has patch wall, Chromecast built in and Google Assistant. On the side, you can see the MRP, which is 44,999 and the contents of the box. Let's quickly open the box. Now I'm opening this box myself, but I would highly recommend you wait for the technician to come and open this up for you or else you will void the warranty. Inside the box are two stands and they are made of good quality plastic. You can see they are greyish in color. The finish and build is quite nice. Rubber on the base so you can get a good grip. Screws to mount the stands. Quick start manual. And here is the remote. You can see a voice assistant button. Below here are quick access buttons for Netflix and Amazon Prime. The remote is light and easy to use. This is a Bluetooth enabled remote. So here it is. I have wall mounted the TV and it looks and feels really big. The bezels are quite thin, round, matte and greyish in color. At the bottom we can see the Mi branding and below that is the button to start the TV. Let's check out the ports. Some ports are on the right and some are behind. The ones on the right are 3 HDMI ports, 2 USB 2.0s and antenna. On the back, Ethernet, SPDIF and AV composite input. Alright, let's boot the device and we greet it with an Android animation. Pair the Bluetooth remote to the TV. You'll get an option to connect internet via Wi-Fi or mobile hotspot. Set up the TV using your Android phone which is quick and convenient. Follow the steps and you'll be ready to go in a couple of minutes. And the setup is complete, booted into Android TV OS. You can see the apps, Netflix, Prime Videos, Viewphone Media, YouTube. Wow, that's great. Let's scroll down. The OS is very responsive and lag free. Let's check out the apps in the app launcher. We can see the apps that come pre-installed along with the official Google Play Store. Let's check out the Android version in the settings. And there we go Android 9 Pie. So let's start with YouTube. Here is a 4K video playing and it's running smoothly. The image is sharp and colors are punchy. The video is playing at 4K without any lag. 4K videos are a visual treat, simply gorgeous. Moving on to Netflix, log in with your Netflix credentials. Logged into the official Netflix app, the interface is smooth and easy to navigate. Let's play a video. There you go. Videos play perfectly fine. You can even access subtitles or change the audio from here. Coming to Prime Videos, log in with your Prime credentials. The app has a clean interface. Let's play a video. Videos play without any problem. Smooth and lag free. You can add remove subtitles and change the font size as well. Let's have a quick look at the Play Store and we see an all new interface. You can even check out the games in the game section. Some games work with the remote while some will need a joystick. Unfortunately, you'll have to buy the joystick separately. Tons of apps to download, Spotify, MX Player, VLC Player, go crazy. And finally, MeTV's own brood patchwall interface. Now comes with Amazon Prime baked right in, tons of app support, tile format and tabs to access and navigate content. The new white interface looks clean and fun to use. So if I had to nitpick the cons, no 3.5 headphone jack and no optical port. There is an SPDIF for digital audio but it's still not very common. 3.5 headphone jack would have just made things easier if you have to connect it to your home theater or external speakers. Apart from that, most of the things seem positive. Official Netflix and Amazon Prime app, Android 9 out of the box, shortcut keys for Netflix and Amazon Prime on the remote, tons of apps from the Google Play Store including YouTube, all that for just 35,000. 
So if you're looking for a big 4K Android Smart TV for your home and you don't want to burn a hole in your pocket, this one is easily recommended. It's a complete package. If you're going to buy one, I'll leave the links in the description. Do check it out. I'll be doing a detailed review where I should talk about the Dolby audio support and setup box quality. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel. So I hope this video was helpful. Write down in the comments and give me your feedback. Also, if there are any questions, do mention them down. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.